hey hey it's a new day and welcome back to my channel I am really excited for this video I've never done one like this before so we'll see how it goes um, basically the idea is sorry I'm just setting my pork butt out here to sit a little bit before I turn it into pulled pork um, but anyway the idea for this video is I am planning to post this on Christmas Eve Eve so I kind of have a feeling a lot of you guys are gonna be cooking in the next day or two um, I'm not in charge of any big full Christmas meals because we're gonna go to family things and stuff but I am going to several different Christmas events Christmas parties and I'm responsible for bringing something to all of them and so I thought I would just like show you guys what I'm making and kind of turn it into a vlog centered around food so it's not gonna all be food um, maybe I'll show you some of my Christmas outfits and you know just be chatty hanging out together and stuff but that's the idea we'll see how it goes I'm excited tonight we have a mom's Christmas party just for the mom's group I go to it'll be like probably 50 to 100 people um, and I'm supposed to bring something like savory and so I'm gonna bring <sighs> what do you call them I don't know basically really fancy pulled pork sliders with like a glaze on top they look so good I've never made them before so we'll see if they're good I got the Hawaiian um, small mini rolls so it's gonna be amazing I'm sure especially since there's pickles involved <gasps> do you guys see this hiding in the background this is the kind of things I find in my house you know two-year-old four-year-old life <gasps> wow anyway I am in such a good mood I put the two-year-old and four-year-old down for a nap and fed the newborn and Miller smiled at me oh my goodness I was at the doctor with him yesterday for his um, four-week checkup and he was actually five weeks last night he weighed a little over eight pounds but he was on the small side but she said he's still growing but they asked if he smiles and I said well Josh claims he does but I've never seen it today I saw it it was like sloppy and it took a lot of work but he smiled anyway I hope I can get it on camera sometime um, it was just the sweetest it made my day <gasps> hi buddy <laughs> You look so big. Anyway, I need to get to work on these sliders. Basically what Josh did this morning was he put it in the crock pot and just put a little bit of water in the bottom so it wouldn't like burn or anything. And then when I got up this morning, I put some pineapple juice in it and one of our favorite pork rubs. And that's basically all I did. You can make your pulled pork however you wanted. Sometimes we smoke it on the smoker, but this pork is like top notch. Got it from Butcher Box. Butcher Box is sponsoring a portion of today's video. Oh, I hear the baby. Let me go get him. Anyway, I'm so thankful to Butcher Box to be sponsoring a video. It's something we use whether they're sponsoring us or not. Um, we like our meat, so I like to just keep meat in the freezer at a good price. And the great thing about Butcher Box is that you know where things are coming from. They're a really, really neat company. Their beef is so delicious and 100% grass fed. They have free range chicken and humanely raised pork and also wild caught salmon. We've never been disappointed with Butcher Box. Their bacon is uncured and nitrate free, which I've just been learning about nitrates and they're not great. And the price for what you're getting is very reasonable. Um, you know what's on your plate. You know what you're putting into your body. You're not pumping yourself full of tons of hormones. And that's really important and definitely worth it. And I grew up on a farm and my mom, she was the farmer, she really babied our animals. And it makes me feel good knowing Butcher Box gets their meat from very humane sources um, and they treat their animals well. So if you're wondering how Butcher Box works, they source their meat from like the highest quality fishermen and farmers. And then you can go online and they have like five different options of boxes that you can order that'll come right to your door. And we always get the custom box and then just pick the cuts of meat that we want. We always get salmon and we always get a pork butt and then a lot of steaks usually. Anyway, they ship you your order and it's frozen meat, but they freeze it at peak freshness and then you just unbox it when it gets to your door. And then we just pop it in our chest freezer and it's there. And when I meal plan, I can look in there and kind of use that as like my little grocery store. What do I want to make that week? And it's just really handy to have it there ready to go. Sometimes we'll pull out like a brisket or a pork butt if we know we're having people over and we'll smoke it overnight and then we'll have meat, you know, for guests or, you know, even just for us for a couple days in a row. So I don't know, it's definitely the way I like to do meat you know, in bulk in the freezer. And I think you guys would love it too. And you can go on their website and read more about them and their beliefs and their standards and stuff. They care for the planet. They care for their animals. They want their stuff to taste good. I really like their values that they stand for. And it's it's a gem when you can find a company like that to work with. And ButcherBox actually gave me a great deal that I can share with you guys. Okay, sorry, I wanted to get this right. It says you're gonna get a free pack of bacon for life every time you get a box. And their bacon is super good. And remember, like I said, it's uncured and nitrate free. 
And then you're also gonna get $100 off spread between five boxes, so $20 off each of those boxes for five months. And I'll remind you again at the end of the video, but if you really wanna make sure you don't miss out, you can go ahead and click on the link right here and um, that'll take you right to their website and you can get started and have delicious meat in your freezer in no time. So I have pretty much finished, I was gonna say butchering this pork butt, but shredding the meat up. And I will link the recipe down below as well for you if you wanna make it as many recipes as I'm gonna be making in this video. I'll try to have all of them down below. Okay, the sliders are in the oven and I will show you the whole construction of them in just a bit. They are gonna be so delicious, I can already tell. Um, I'm gonna go get ready. I, yeah, just had, this is actually a men's sweatshirt from like Ross, um, but it's very comfy and oversized. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll meet you back here when I'm assembling the sliders. Okay, I'm not ready. The sandwiches are not done. <laughs> um, the baby is not happy anymore. I think he's ready for another nap. Um, but I got distracted because the repairman or the delivery guy showed up with a new stove and microwave for our kitchen so you'll get to see that in this video our stove top just cracked i don't know why it's just like a big crack right across my main burner that i normally use i yes i use my stove hard but i haven't used it any harder lately than i did before so i don't know what made it happen but since we had to replace the stove and our fridge and our dishwasher we bought when we moved in here and we got it in a slate um, like facade or the front of it and so we're like well we already have to replace the oven the only thing left that doesn't match is our black microwave so we bought a microwave too who knew the microwave is gonna be half as expensive as the oven like I thought oh a microwave 200 300 bucks no it's like $500 and the oven we could have got a $900 one or a $1,900 one. <laughs> anyway, we went with the $900 one. Um, we do use our microwave as a range hood, so I guess that makes, maybe that's why it's more expensive. I don't know, I didn't talk to Josh. I don't know. It's just frustrating when you have to spend money on appliances, but that's adulting, right? <laughs> Such is life, and I know I will get to use it and enjoy it, and I'll show it to you guys as soon as it's installed. Now all my appliances will match. <laughs> Is this not the sweetest scene you've ever seen? <laughs> oh, I set him by the main, uh, by the Christmas tree for a picture. He was just staring at the lights on the tree. Oh, are you our best present under the tree? Huh? Are you our best present under the tree? I can link where I got this Moses basket. They send it to me actually, and it comes with a stand and everything. It's so beautiful. Um, it comes in a lot of colors too, just black and white, neutrals. I got something with a little bit of orange in it. And Miller likes it, don't ya? Don't you like it? <laughs> he looks like he saw a ghost. It's just a camera. Okay, so I'm dressed. I'm just wearing this old navy, like buffalo check shirt. Um, I got it in an extra small like many years ago um, and it was still ginormous so it was so oversized I actually pleated it at the side so it had like more room in the back um, but then it was more fitted up here so yeah I'm just wearing this and then all black this skirt I wear constantly and my black boots as well and just some leggings it's kind of like a more casual party we're gonna be making gingerbread houses and stuff and yeah a lot of people are gonna be wearing like their ugly Christmas sweaters and I I just never broke down and bought one and I never came across one in like a Goodwill or something that I felt looked like sanitary, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm not above thrifting, I thrift a lot, but I don't know, I just haven't found anything I like. So I don't have an ugly Christmas sweater. Maybe someday, we will see, but I'm just gonna wear this tonight, super casual. Um, I have some other Christmas parties that are gonna be a lot more dressy, so I was like, I'm gonna dress down this time. I think you can wear whatever you want. They just said, come in your 
festive holiday attire. And I set this out in the dryer so I wouldn't forget to take it with me when I ran out the door. But this is what I'm bringing along for the gingerbread houses. You're supposed to just bring random whatever. So I'm bringing shaved coconut for like the snow. And I thought this would be cute like for windows and then pirouettes, like maybe like a log cabin vibe or like a lamp post or something. Um, and yes, this is like a collection of stuff that needs to get put away. It'll happen sometime. <laughs> okay, the sandwiches are heated through. It is gonna be a hassle transporting them and keeping them hot, but this is the ones for my family. Um, here. I am going to make these for them. They're gonna eat these and then I will put the other one in the oven last minute and I will take it with me in this. This is like an insulated bag. Yes, we are Eagles fans here in Pennsylvania. <laughs> it was a gift from my dad, I think one time. Anyway, I'll put it into here and I'll transport it there. But I'm gonna show you how you assemble them and we're gonna taste them and see how delicious they really are. So let's try it. Okay, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get any footage at the actual party, but what I'm planning to do is just take the little sliders and put them on a pretty tray like this. You know, so on and so forth. And then to assemble them, here is the coleslaw that's been sitting in the fridge. Very few simple ingredients and this stuff is amazing. Anyway, so I'll take the lid off Put a little bit of coleslaw on there and pickles. It's probably plenty of pickles for that tiny little slider. <laughs> and then to keep them all together, I have these, well, I have all the colors of the big toothpicks, but I just picked out the green and the red ones. And then I will skewer them together as such. And there we have our little pork slider. These are so, so good. Okay, these are gonna be like a go-to, I have a feeling. You have like the sourness with the pickles and the coleslaw, and then you have the meat, which has a little hint of sweetness in it with the cheddar cheese and the, the bun is amazing. Oh, and I even forgot the poppy seed buttery dressing that goes over the whole thing. It is divine. I give this one like a five star for sure. Um, I'll put everything down below so you guys can try it out. I am proud to take these along. I just hope I can transport them and keep them hot. Um, and yeah, make them look pretty on the plate. But I'll try to get any footage I can at the party and yeah, we'll just see how it goes, but wow. <laughs> and of course the star of the show is the Butcher Box Pool Pork so. What do you think, Bonnie? <laughs> what is this? It's a tree. No, look at the front of it. Mommy bear, daddy bear, Fletcher and Ronnie and Miller, these are trees, these are marshmallows. That's coconut and these are little crackers. Here's a lollipop and some candy. And <laughs> Fletcher, can I look at your outfit? Mm -hmm. This is what Fletcher picks when he's allowed to pick his clothes. <laughs> he put his outfit together this morning. His, he wants to wear his Eagles jersey every day. Yes, so I got home. The kitchen is not cleaned up. Usually Josh does clean it up. Maybe it was a rough night. I don't know, I didn't talk to him yet. Anyway, here is my second grade looking gingerbread house project. <laughs> it was really fun though, but I think I got distracted with all the talking and stuff. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I forgot to mention that the reason I had to bring those sliders was because they assigned hot food to anybody with their first name. <laughs> what is she doing? She's like over there dancing. They assigned hot food to anybody with their last name starting with an A through G, I think it was. So, Fox. And they got all. I was so happy. They got all gone. All. That's like a Mennonite term or Lancaster County term. They got all gone. <laughs> anyway, so I do have leftover coleslaw I'll put in the fridge, but <sighs> currently wearing all the layers because I'm getting bundled up to go Christmas caroling. Tonight oh. is our church's annual... Look behind me here. Ha-ha! <laughs> I forgot to show you guys. The... Oven and microwave came in. I know it doesn't really make much of a difference at all, but I really like it in real life. You can definitely see that they match now instead of having shiny black and then like the graphite uh, slate look. All the appliances now match and look cohesive, so that's a win. <laughs> Let's hope they stay in one piece now and actually function, you know? Um, but like I was saying, I am getting ready to go Christmas caroling. I had a really relaxing Sunday afternoon. Um, I was actually opening P.O. Box stuff from some of you guys, and can I just shout out, um, what's her name? Here. 
Heidi Corzine from Tennessee. I should be shouting out a lot of you, but her especially. Thank you so much for the, um, she sent me money for my favorite drink ever, the Nutella Frozen Mocha from Rachel's Crepery. So I'm so excited to have one. I will think of you when I have it. But she also sent the Bearstein Bears Go Christmas Caroling. I have never heard of that one. Yeah, I think it's one of their newer titles, but that is so cool. She also sent the Bearstein Bears and the Christmas Angel as well, but I didn't even know those existed, so. My kids love the Berenstein Bears. Thank you so much. We will definitely be reading them. But anyway, I had to stop opening mail to get ready for tonight and I we're supposed to all bring like a finger food or snack to share and I feel like every time we go Christmas caroling, it's always, here, let me get comfortable. <laughs> Miller is chilling in his swing, so sorry for the distracting TikTok, TikTok noise. <laughs> I just feel like every time I go Christmas caroling, it's just a bunch of like cookies and sweet stuff. And so I wanted to do something a little more savory. So basically I have this cream cheese little Christmas tree here with a pepper star. If you have a star cookie cutter, it would definitely look a lot better. And then I just used some chicken and biscuits for the trunk and these will go stale because <laughs> there they are. So I might have to replace them, but I'm gonna wait to dump in the other crackers around the tree later on. I'll do Ritz and these Triscuits. And then what you do is you pour pepper jelly over the cream cheese bar, and then you can just take a knife and take some pepper jelly cream cheese and put it on your plate, eat it with crackers. It is so delicious. I got this hot and sweet pepper jelly from Trader Joe's. I've actually made it in the past. It's really good. My aunt, my aunt makes super amazing pepper jelly too. So I forgot about it. It's like a very easy, winter snack if you just want to, well, it doesn't have to be winter time, but. And so yeah, I am excited for that. Very, very easy and it'll look kind of festive too at the same time. But yeah, it should be a fun evening. I'm so excited to go. It's supposed to be like 45 degrees, so I'm gonna wear Miller in my wrap. Um, but I'm so excited to go with Ivani because, well Fletcher too, but he doesn't sing as much. Ivani has just been singing, singing, singing all of her Christmas carols because I bought a Christmas carol CD and we've been listening to it on repeat while we're driving. She at least can sing along to Away in a Manger and her favorite Christmas song is Angels We Have Heard on High. Angels We Have Heard on High because the chorus is just Gloria. So she just sings that and she doesn't have to worry about messing up the words, it's so cute. Anyway, yeah, I'm probably more excited than I should be, but I think it'll be fun to actually go Christmas caroling as a family. Josh is gonna be one of the song leaders in our group, and they said we're only going for 30 to 45 minutes, which is why I'm taking Miller along, because um, I think we're just walking from the church. Our church is like in downtown, so we can like walk around. And if he starts to get too cold, or I think he's sleeping too long, because he always just falls, boom, right to sleep, as soon as I put him in his wrap. So if it's gonna be more than like half an hour, I'll probably just walk back to the church and warm up and all that, but yeah, he usually stays nice and toasty in there. It's just, you cannot keep him awake. Yeah, Josh actually got to go golfing this afternoon with his buddies. I think we'll be back here. He better be back here soon, because we gotta get going. Okay, we got the beanie, the gloves, the coat, the baby wrap, leggings, boots. We should be good to go. <laughs> By the way, this beanie I got, uh, Josh, where was it? I think it was at Urban Outfitters in Times Square, New York City, um, like three years ago. So today is actually my last day of being 28, so I am living it up. Okay, no I'm not. <laughs> I took the kids to the park today and did a lot of computer work, so no I'm not. But Josh is downstairs watching hockey, the kids are playing in the basement, and I am going to be cooking, I'm so excited, it's gonna be the cutest little chocolate bundt cakes for um, a party we're going to tomorrow night on my birthday. It's not my birthday party, it was just the day that worked out best for everyone. Um, to do a Christmas party at my friend's place. They just got a new house and it's beautiful and I'm pretty sure she's gonna make it really cute. So I'll see if I can get any footage of the tablescape or anything. She always does a really good job. So I signed up to bring baked goods and look what I ordered from Amazon. I have these little bun pans, they're so cute. Um, I never made bun cakes really before but I grew up with one like that my mom would make once in a while. Make me cookies. Make you cookies. Is that what you want? Yeah. What if I make little cakes like this? Would that be pretty? Yeah, I want you. With cup with chocolate chips in them? Yeah, and I want to help. Okay. To help. Okay, goodness. Never mind for the peaceful quiet kitchen. <laughs> anyway, oh like I was saying, I am gonna be making this chocolate chip 
Bundt cake that um, actually takes a yellow cake mix. So anybody can make this. I don't know if you guys have made Bundt cakes before, but I feel like they're a real holiday thing and they're very easy. I'm told Dawn from The Middle Mom is always talking about her Bundt cakes and stuff. So yeah, they're, I mean, they're so adorable. So anyway, that's the plan. And the most fun part is I get to give my new oven a whirl. Um, I haven't used the inside of it yet. I've used the stove top a couple times yesterday. Um, but I ordered, before I could even have a chance to use my um, oven, I ordered an oven liner. Actually, I think there's two in here. Voila. Seriously, whoever thought of this is genius. Now I can just pull this out of the oven and then clean it in the sink and put it back in again. I don't have to like stand on my head. But the coolest thing about my oven is that there's no coil on the bottom. I don't know how the heating element works, but there is no coil on the bottom. So even if I didn't have this, it would be 20 times easier to clean out than the old one. But I'm still using the oven liner. I'm gonna test it out, see if I like it. Maybe give the other one to my mom if it works good. I don't know. to mention um, but if you do not have a stand mixer oops, if you do not have a stand mixer that's what you should have asked for for Christmas my goodness it makes everything so much easier so I know people love their Bosch mixers which I know they're awesome too but they're super expensive and they're not as cute let's just be honest seriously this cake is going to be so wet and opposite of dry you know the word I want to say but I can't say it because I hate that word <laughs> you know what I mean M-O-I-S-T. Anybody else hate that word? I'm gonna call the kids up because they wanted to help, but what they mean by help is add chocolate chips. I'll start mixing it so okay, dump it in slowly, slowly. Oh, stop! I said half. There. Yeah, does that look yummy? We're gonna put them in these little cake pans. It's gonna make little cake. This is why they're here. Can we get off? Can you let it off? Nope, not this one. Why? Not this one, because there's lots of raw eggs in it. Okay, now we just spoon them into the little mini cake pans. I'm gonna do them like two thirds full. And the recipe I'm using calls for a big bun pan. So I'm gonna have to guess on the time for this. And I will put the recipe down below um, for the 12 inch if you wanna do the big bun pan or for these little mini ones. They're just so cute. And these are reusable by the way. They're from Amazon. exactly 12 for the fullness that I filled them. Pop them in the oven at 350 for, I have no idea how many minutes, but I will record that and let you know. Okay, here they are. I got them out of the oven, then I went and fed the baby, so you didn't see any of that, but it took exactly 35 minutes, and I let them cool for about 10, so I'm just gonna slowly pop them out, and hopefully they look pretty. We'll see. That's so cute. I love it. Fletcher, what are you doing? No, don't play with the coffee grinder. Look at that. It's so cute. Okay, all the rest now. Okay, well, that's what? So, what are we settling on? Well,. Yeah, we have to, he said he has to call his attorney and find out what it costs and all that, so, you know, we're up front about all that, and he said he'll find a sale agreement that we'll fill out online. So possibly. And if we want to go look at the house, Dave, the neighbor, has a key, so we can go look at it anytime you want. So, that was exciting. Josh just made a phone call, um, and we potentially might be moving through, I can say this because it's not like we're going to move there or anything, but we might be moving through with a... 
um, either, a, I think a rental maybe, I'm not sure yet, but anyway, we've been looking into some real estate stuff, especially with Josh's skills and things like that, and um, yeah, so I don't know, it could be really exciting. I'm not gonna get my hopes up though. But these bun cakes, they look amazing. I wanna cut one open and see what they taste like. Cake is always so good warm. Um, but they really came out really nice out of these pans. I definitely recommend them. Um, I did overflower some of them a little bit, I think. Do you see that one there? It's like really white. But most of them look really good. So, and then I'm also gonna drizzle them tomorrow once they're completely cold with white chocolate. So, I think it's gonna look amazing. There's chocolate chip pockets all throughout and stuff. It looks so good. Josh wanted to taste it too. So, I think I'm gonna take this one that's like a little overflowered on the top. And yeah, just break it in half, see what it looks like. Wow, that looks amazing. Mmm, <laughs> you know the word. Very non-dry. <laughs> anyway, okay, Josh can have the other part there. I'm gonna put these on the counter to cool. And tomorrow I will pick up the camera again and show you the finished product. Sweetest little cakes I have ever made. I think this is one of my favorite little um, endeavors in the kitchen. My word, look at this. It is so cute. I'm just waiting for the chocolate to dry here and then I will put the cake stand lid on top. Yeah, I'm just so happy with them and they taste really good too. I'm not a huge white chocolate person, but that's just like the garnish on the top and it definitely adds a little something. Okay, now I need to wrap up a gift. We were told to bring a $25 couple gift. By the way, if you hear tick tocking in the background, that is Miller and his little swing. He loves it. And I try to save it for nap times mostly because um, that's when I need to get things done. And so we decided for ours, I know a gift card is not that creative, but um, there is a restaurant near us. Actually, I think there's a couple of them, but Appalachian Brewing Company is one of our favorite places to go on a date. Um, and they have really good drinks. So Josh picked up a six pack of their root beer and I think it's sweetened with honey or at least partially honey. And so I'm gonna wrap this in this box here. I need to wrap all the bottles up in tissue paper so you can't hear them clinking, you know, and it gives it away what it is. But it's gonna be like a heavy gift. Okay, what are we getting here, you know? And then they get $20 to Appalachian Brewing Company and the root beer. And yeah, I don't know, I wanna win this one. So I imagine the rest of them will too. I mean, basically it's like a date night in a box, so. Yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna get this wrapped up and then I'm gonna get dressed. Okay, so this is our wedding clothes we're gonna wear this weekend to Josh's brother's wedding. Stay tuned to the end and I will show you some clips of whatever I can manage to get a hold of. You know, wedding days are always really crazy. But here is Josh's suit. It's like a charcoal gray. I still need to like spot wash it a little bit. It says you can wash it in the washer, but I'm a little scared about it. Fletcher's little tux. I actually got it for free from my sister-in-law. She picked it up at a outgrown shop and it has the tags on yet from Target. So that's a win. He's gonna look so cute, like Josh's little mini me. And then this is my beautiful dress, guys. It is gorgeous. I wish I could link it, but I've looked everywhere for it. It's out of stock at the Main Street Exchange, which is where I got it, but wow, guys. I just can't wait to put it on. I wanted to wear it tonight, but I don't trust myself not to ruin it. Um, who knows what we're having for supper, like if there's like pasta sauce or something and I ruin my dress for pictures. That would be so heartbreaking. But yeah, it's super long and just like this peachy metallic color. Oh, it's so gorgeous, I'm so excited. And it's stretchy enough to be nursing friendly. I will wear a tank top underneath, obviously. Um, that's a kind of low neck. I originally wanted to wear a dress with long sleeves, but we're actually taking pictures indoors now. 
So yeah, this will definitely work great. And it has like a little twist detail. You'll just have to wait till it's on me. So yeah, you can see the full effect. I think this is a dress Josh is gonna actually comment on. <laughs> he rarely comments on the clothes I'm wearing. Um, but that, I think he's really gonna like it. And then here are, those are Ivani's little flower girl shoes. She is gonna be a little flower girl in the wedding. It's gonna be so cute. And she wanted high heels, but I'm not having her walk down the aisle and trip and fall and the poor girl. But these are my shoes. Um, and they're just like little block heels. I got them on Amazon. I can link them below. They're just like a taupe suede color. I really like them. I hope I can keep the points nice. That's always what seems to be the problem. But I am going to wear these tonight. I will just make sure to be very careful with them. And this is the dress I'm going to wear. It's just like a black dress with white floral on it. And this is the back of it actually. It's ruched in the front and the back and it has long... You know what? Let me just put it on and you can see it better. <laughs> okay. I changed my mind. I am not wearing this dress. <laughs> um, I love the shoes, keeping them for sure. This dress is like, I mean, Josh is gonna hate it, that's for sure. But like, okay, the neck is high, which I like actually, and it's like nice and ruched, but the waist is like awkwardly high. I think it might look cute if you had like a bump, like being pregnant or something, I don't know. It's just something's off about it, I'm not keeping it. Um, Bummer, I was excited about this one. I love the print and everything on it, but okay. I'm just gonna put an Old Faithful on and we'll go that way. This dress is from Ada Faye Fashions and it did come in a couple different colors, but yeah, very cute. Um, I've had it for like two years, I believe. Um, so yeah, I think this is what I'll wear tonight and Josh can wear his black tie, black shirt, but yeah, very holiday-ish. It's like a cranberry color with little, um, just like embroidery in the lace and then like a nice lace detail on the bodice and the sleeves are just like everything i love them so much <laughs> It was such a fun day. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, weddings don't happen that often. So it was a very special, very sweet day. Um, I think the kids had a lot of fun. They cooperated really well. Fletcher actually fell asleep right there on the sofa in the reception area. So I think that's kind of what got him through the evening. But here's another look at my dress. It worked out really well. Um, it's very comfortable and I could actually nurse in it. So that was really nice. <sighs> Nobody told me. I walked around the whole day with my tag still attached to my dress. And it's like a big tag but um, the bodice in the back is really loose. And I'm wondering if it was behind my shirt or something. I don't know, nobody ever told me anything. Everybody said they didn't notice it, but I went to take it off and I saw the tag. Oh my word, so embarrassing. So anyway, it was a successful day, I would say. I am going to run a bubble bath now. I am so, my feet kill. <laughs> I'm ready for, yeah, just to decompress a little bit. But anyway, I think that will conclude this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and to ButcherBox for sponsoring it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the yummy recipes and everything. And don't forget when you sign up for ButcherBox right now, you get your free bacon for life. Also $100 off in value over their next five boxes. So yeah, that's amazing. So definitely look for that link down below in the description box. I know it'll save you guys some money and it will also save you a lot of headache and bother in the future because you'll have meat right there in your freezer and not just meat, but good quality butcher box meat. So anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.